Today we're here to do the egg protector project for CC week number 23. So we have to make some type of contraption to protect the egg when it falls. Now what happens to a regular egg when it falls? Cracks open and makes a big mess. So we want to be able to drop the egg from a distance and protect the egg. So when it comes to the egg and falling with gravity, what are some things you already know? So if something's heavier, does it fall faster? No. No. An example of that would be this bouncy ball and this felt ball. So which one is heavier? Bouncy ball. The bouncy ball's heavier. And if we drop them at the same time, they both hit the table at the same time. Do you know what affects the rate of falling? Um, the wideness. The wideness or the resistance. So when something is more spread out, it has more push against the air, and so it takes longer to fall. So we'll take a look at that here. Hold this. Three, two, one. So there you can see the bouncy ball fell faster because it has less resistance, whereas the tissue has more resistance, it takes longer to fall. Those are some of the things that we can think about while we're making our egg protector, is how to slow down the falling rate, right? And how to maybe absorb the impact on the ground. So have you guys thought about how you would want your egg protector to be built? Mm -hmm. All right, do you wanna draw it for us? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of like making mine, like taking balloons and blowing them up all around in a circle. This is kind of a, a, up, an up view, so it kind of, or up view, so it kind of looks like a flower. And then have my egg be like sitting on that and then tie string tie string up and then have a parachute at the top. So then it can help guide it down safely and then it has like a butterfly and then maybe like make like a spot that it can go in out of like like take a bowl or something and tape it there and then have it so it's in that bowl and then it has like a fluffy landing from the pillows and then it has a parachute. That, so that's my idea. Levi, why don't you show us how you would make your egg protector? And it has a box and then I have the egg in it and then I have a parachute. Should we maybe put something in there to help protect it? Like maybe some paper or something? Um, paper around it. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Those are both really great ideas. So we're gonna go ahead and pull all of our materials together and start to make our egg protectors. So we're gonna have Levi go first with his idea, okay? And for our practice, we have a wooden egg, right? And so what was your idea? What did you want to do? So I'm going to have this box. And then have some of this in here. Put the egg in it. So that looks exactly like your drawing. We're just missing one thing. What's that? The parachute. The parachute. So because yours has a parachute, and so does yours, we'll make that all together. So let's move on to your project, Lexi. For mine, I'm using balloons. Mine was to make a balloon bottom base 
but I'm not going to blow the balloons very big. So now that we're done with this, now I have this piece of foam that I'm going to use to protect my egg. I'm going to just take this foam that I had, take a piece of tape, and just what you're going to do is wrap it around. So the next thing we're going to do for both of these is make a parachute. So what we have for that is a garbage bag, kitchen garbage bag, and we can leave it as one piece like this because there's two layers here so we're going to make two parachutes so it'll be perfect. So now we have two parachutes. Do you think these are going to work? Yeah. So we'll take and we'll slits. So there should be four strings for each. Four strings for each parachute and we're doing about two feet worth for each. All right now that we are done with getting the strings on the parachute we have to figure out how to attach them to Dad. our egg savers. This is a part where you might want two people because you want to make sure the strings are meeting at the same length because if you have some strings lower then the parachute will be uneven. So what we're going to want to do is have one person hold the parachute up top and have the other person maybe tape it on. All right, so here we are outside and we have all of our egg protectors here and they look amazing. So let's see how they do. What we're gonna do is we're going to attach each one to the drone, bring it up to different heights, drop them and see how they hold up. Right now I'm at about 10 feet right there. So Lexi, go ahead and drop it away. Do you think your egg survived? So now we're on to Levi's. So we're going to go ahead and take off and do 10 feet again. So while I take off, go ahead and step back, guys. Go ahead, Levi. Do you think it survived? All right, so now we're gonna try my contraption. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Well, the popsicle sticks didn't work. We're gonna go for a higher height at 25 feet, so go ahead and back up. Well, I take off at 10, 15, 20, and 25. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, Levi, go grab yours. All right, you ready, buddy? Let's see yours at 25 feet. 20 and 25. Ready? In three, two, one, go.
<laughs> go show mommy. So now for Lexi, we're gonna go for the 50 feet. So right now we're at 10. We're gonna wait for the wind to stop a little bit. All right, go up to 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and we're at 50. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Lexi, how high should we go now? 75 feet. 30, 40, 50. This is where we were. Look at it, it's an even leap. Just a little, little back there. So, how, how high up was that? 75 feet. Now yeah. Almost so, who's the winner? Good job. Hey. Okay.